Well, guys, uh, this is it. The end of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Here we go. So in our last episode, we went, we found Josiah Hill. We got in touch with uh, with Ayana Puri. We saved her and stuff. And uh, we, oh shoot, we're about to get shot down by a Sam site. That is not good. That is not good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna bail. We're gonna bail. We're gonna, we're gonna grab this and just forget forget that that ever happened but yeah dude this this is it this is the final mission so if you guys take a look here stop walker's plan go to his base it's on the north side of sinking county province he can be found in his base of operation howard airfield all right so this is it this is this is where everything comes to an end he is trying to uh basically trying to start world war three with a bunch of drones and stuff and uh, we're, we're going to do our best to, to put a stop to that. So this is a super dangerous area. I'm going to be honest. We are not properly equipped to take these guys on. We are not the level we should be. So we're just going to have to be very smart about how we approach this. And make sure that we take people out from a distance with sniper headshots. Do you guys see this thing? Oh my, see like, the stealth is going to be absolutely paramount here, dude. If we don't get in and get out without them noticing, I I, I, I think we're going to have to like go do a bunch of side missions before, uh, before we take this on. But, if we can be stealthy and not be seen, I don't even, dude, honestly, I don't even know if our, if our sniper is going to be a one-shot headshot. We're just going to have to... Have to send up some hopes and prayers. So we do have everybody tagged here, which is a step in the right direction. I think we're just gonna gonna start by taking out all the snipers. Nobody's gonna find them. Let's see if this is a one-shot headshot. If it's not, we're gonna be in big trouble. It still is. Okay, we're fine here then. We're gonna enter the broadcast room. Oh my god, did we? Did we come in the perfect side and we're just gonna be able to walk right in? The behemoth seems to be the key to accessing the control room. I'm gonna have to take it out. Excuse me? Yeah, I don't... Brother, I, I love the confidence, but I don't think that's gonna work. You were a pretty bad sniper, sir. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I guess we're just gonna... I'm gonna take every single person out on this base. So we don't have to fight humans and machines. That might work. Let's get up top here. I feel like if we get up top of this building, I mean, we're gonna be able to to see the whole base and we, we may be able to, to just kind of take people out as we find them. Oh, one of those guys. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm legitimately a little bit nervous. We can take him out. <laughs> Got him. Oh my goodness. Woo! We missed one of those shots in there. I thought I thought that might be our downfall. So the thing is, is I'm I'm thinking if we take all these guys out beforehand. Can we drop here without dying? Uh, probably, probably best not to test it. <laughs> then they're not going to be able to, to call reinforcements. And if they can't call reinforcements, then then it's us versus this machine. We could get back up on this building and just start spraying down on it with an LMG. Throw all of our grenades at it and stuff. I don't know exactly how many levels above us it is, but it's, it's pretty significant. It's definitely going to be in our best interest to, to take this slow. Oh, <gasps> the chopper. We could pick up their chopper and just go to town on the thing. Oh, that's that's the game plan. That is the game plan right there.
Please turn around. I was trying to flank to go get these guys over. I've never seen it come this far this way. Boys, this is it. This is it. I I think the I think the thing knows where we are. I'm fairly sure I'm fairly sure that the robot knows that we we ran by. Um He was at least like mini alerted. It could be more than that. Oh yeah, he knows where we are. I don't know if he only has Oh, he's got missiles. Okay. Uh, that, that, that changes things a little bit. Our plane lasted for two shots of missiles and then we were done. And now he's just lobbing mortars over at us. Alright, I guess, I think our next best bet is gonna be to get up on top of the building. Just take pop shots at the bot with, uh, with our sniper. And, and that way we have a lot of room to move around. Obviously, he's not gonna be able to get up top. Because he's a robot. I'm gonna say, let's grab, um, yeah, let's grab this Zestava. And then we're gonna grab the highest. I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take yeah, the L86 here. So we're going full loud. We killed everybody in the entire. Oh my god, we're dead. Wow, I thought I thought we were done, hundred percent. So we gotta watch out for those, dude. How can this thing just sense us everywhere? Dude, I don't think we're gonna be able to take this thing down. I think we could take down the humans, but I don't think we can take it down. We aren't even doing damage unless we hit it in those spots. Oh, we're, we're gonna be able to get it. Run. Got it there. Just gotta be smarter than the robot, Trev. We've got 106 shots. I I hope we can do it in this amount of time. Good hits there, Trev. Good hits. Let's go. There's a hit. This is my favorite spot because we can kind of peek the corner a little bit and he can't hit us. Mortars are coming in. That's fine. Oh my god. If he mortars us right now, we may die. Run! Uh. No! Get out of there. Dude, I thought we were dead. I thought we were dead. I, I dude, I, I was honestly gonna cry. Like I was I was probably gonna cry. I was probably going to cry if we lost it right there. Let's go! Dude. You almost saw me cry. Like that, that is not a joke. You almost saw me cry live right there. It, it, it almost happened. That was so close. I think Walker, I'm assuming Walker's gonna be in here. No man. You know, part of me is glad you're still alive. It's too bad I'm gonna have to kill you. You could just give up. Hey, you know me better than that. I don't know you at all anymore. The walker I knew never would have been a part of this. And he never would have killed his own. I've been trying to show you. You got no vision on what the future could be. No, man. It's not too late. You could join me. No way, fam. You killed my soldiers. And you made me kill my friend. Now you're making me kill mine. Why is he running and hiding? I thought we were gonna gonna have a little shootout here, man. Come on. 
Oh, dude. Is this him? What's up with this? Wow. Um, that was one of the quickest L's we've ever taken. Dude, I was, I was trying to shoot him. It wasn't, it wasn't letting us shoot him. Obviously, this is going to be some sort of a big boss battle. I was thinking maybe the, the giant robot out front was the boss battle, but it's not. We, we've got to get our level up at least close to 150 to be able to make this work. So um, uh, I'm going to go just like, I think you get the most XP just from killing people. I'm just going to go around and snipe a bunch of people and take a bunch of people out. We're going to get up to level 150 or, or at least close to it. And uh, then we're going to come back and we're, we're going to take on Walker again. Man, oh man, that was a grind. So I think where we last left off, we were like level 80 or something like that. And I, I played for about probably five to six hours of just running around to different bases, killing enemies, picking up the loot they dropped, getting loot out of the boxes and that sort of thing. And uh, you guys are going to see here, we are looking pretty good now. So we are exactly level 150. Guys can see we've got pretty much all of our, our items are 150 as well, except this pistol is is a bit of an overachiever. But um, yeah, that's, I guess, a, a little pro tip I could give you guys if you guys are playing through this game as well. Make sure you're always upgrading your stuff as soon as you get something better. Like even if, if you like, you know, you, you like your A2 assault rifle, but you get a sniper that's three levels better. Change to that sniper until you get another assault rifle down the line because that way your loot pool gets better and better and better. There were times where my weapons were like 20 or 30 levels behind because I really liked them. And because of that, the enemies weren't dropping as good of loot. So uh, we're going to hop back in here. Luckily, we don't have to take down that giant behemoth, um, you know, robot or anything again. I'm not sure... I'm not sure what we have to do to beat him. There's nothing up here. I'm gonna take down all those ghosts, I guess. There's gotta be some way to beat him. It seems like he has some sort of impenetrable shield. Like when you shoot him, that's not doing anything. But I can't shoot down his drones either. Ah, you, can you get the drones? Is that a drone that we just got right there? I'm assuming the drones, the drones are what are giving him his power. It's got to be, right? Hello. Get off me, bro. It's got, it's got to be the drones. Shoot. He's down. We probably, let's just heal. Let's just heal here. Yeah, the drones are going down. Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't sure that they were, but it's working. This guy's coming up here, yes. I think he should, yeah, he's, nice, let's go, baby, that was way less in... involved than I thought it was going to be. Checkmate, baby. I don't think so, man. Not if we have something to do with it. This is the hot part of Bolivia. Who's that? Eat my shit. <laughs> Only if you cuddle me after. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. You must be nomad, Walker. Did, uh, did you and I go through part of selection together? No, it was jump school. I was in the chalk next to yours. <laughs> That's right. With that uh, dude from Pararescue, right? First recon guys. <laughs> Fun times, man. Well, I got a 
Got some more fun for you. This here's your briefing. Say, you, uh, you want some candy? Hey. Excuse me. We haven't even started this mission. Command's already talking about sending us back to the Middle East. Again? And that's one that never ends. That's because, uh, man, war's easier in peace. Company man back there, who you never saw, by the way, he, uh... He believes in this fantasy, it's called Wonderland, where people never fight. It's all rainbows and marshmallows and unicorns and shit, but, uh... I guess we could talk about that another time. Yeah. Hmm. Say, Nomad, it's good to see you. You too, man. You stay healthy. Always. <laughs> it's kind of sad to see the friendship, the camaraderie all in, but um, people change, man. Look what your Wonderland got you. You are a better man than this, Walker. So it looks like our work's not done here yet. Ooh, Silver Stake Tactical ASR there. That, uh, that looks pretty nice. And we, what's the Sharp Thunder HGG, H, HDG? Interesting, we'll take it. And we got blueprints for them. All kinds of cool stuff, but here we go. We're gonna go ahead and log in. Drop this virus off real quick and, uh, Putting into his plan. Nomad to Air One. I'm plugged in. Transmit that virus. Understood. We're sending now. Are the drones gonna attack the sub? <laughs> Let's go. Nomads Air One. Mission accomplished. That's amazing to hear. I'll let everyone know. I'm heading back. Make sure Matt saved me some of that moonshine. I guess we're stuck here a little while longer, huh? Well, we stopped Walker from taking the drones off the island. That's not small potatoes. Y'all know what Wonderland is? Walker mentioned it. Other people working for him and Stone mentioned it too. I heard Walker and Stone talk about it. Though I never got a full explanation. Sounds like Lewis Carroll. Alice in Wonderland? Yeah. Yeah, he said I couldn't stop it. Oh, forget about it, all right? This island is full of crazy billionaires. People who think they're wolves. Killer robots. <laughs> and military contractors. But... Cheers to that! It is also full of... Really, really good people. We got together, and we did something good, and we should be proud of that. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Look at those birds. <laughs> those aren't birds, Harmony. Those aren't birds. That's fascinating. We didn't program that. No. Aruhi. Are they like machine learning or something? Or is there another another backup plan? It would 
seeing that Icarus is not the only one aiming for great heights. There's a stone. Miles, just because you pay my bills, it don't make me your bitch. I don't know how Scale took control of that sector, but he doesn't have it now. How's that? Well, you tell the big boss not to get his panties in a twist. Oh, well. I'm on the island. So with Walker gone, I guess that puts me in charge. You pull a weed and more sprout up. Happens every time. work is never over but I do think that is the end of this game that is the finale obviously games like this like there's still an open world you can still go do all the side missions and collect all the rations and unlock all the blueprints and stuff like that but that is the end of the campaign kind of an ominous ending definitely like I, I when we killed Walker I thought it was going to be kind of like a, you know oh, I'm sad because he was our friend, he was our comrade, but we took him out and it's a good thing and there's a good happy ending. But no, it's um, there's still dangers on the horizon. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Maybe a couple years from now, we'll get another Ghost Recon game that kind of builds off of this. Hopefully we'll get quite a bit of, uh, of post-launch support here. Maybe we'll get some really cool DLC missions and stuff. I have uh, I have no clue what their, their plan is, but um, either way, this was a fantastic, fantastic series and I had a great time, so... Thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. We're going to call that the end for now, and I guess we'll just kind of see see what happens in the future. So drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know which game you guys want to see next. I'll catch you all later.